Hi everyone, this is Don Bauer. Uh, today I'm on the Edinburgh Photo Society uh, course thing uh, with Alonzo DR. And at the moment, this is the size of the group. Quite a lot of people turned up for it. And Alonzo, that's Adam the organiser, and there is Alonzo. So we'll see a little bit more of him around. At the moment it's a bit like Alonzo's Jesus and we're all following him and uh, just seeing everything that he does. So at the moment he's just getting his camera stuff out of his bag uh, but everyone stopped and just staring. Wow, amazing, what is he doing? Um, so, But the main thing what we're trying to do is actually just go, go around and take some photos of the beach. Unfortunately it's kind of a cool day. We've got a bit of clouds and uh, a bit of rain in the background as well. Um, and uh, then Alonzo's going to be coming around and just giving us any tips or hints and helping hands and stuff like that. There you go. Now, some of you may know that there's a rule in Scotland that whenever a camera crew or a photographer comes to Scotland, it's always going to rain whenever they're trying to show you how to take photos. So at the moment, uh, we're still down on the beach and uh, it's actually just started to pour with rain. Uh, Alonso's doing his best to uh, keep everyone's uh, spirits high and uh, his images are coming out really good. They look like instant HDR photos straight out of the camera. Uh, he's using the Sony Alpha something um, and uh, from the back of the screen they just look great. It really makes the screen on the back of the Fuji S5 look rubbish. Uh, everyone is still over by the rocks. But the thing is, everyone's filters are getting a little bit wet and raindrops on it. So everyone's just like, oh, what do we do, what do we do? And I've come kind of a little bit away from the crowd because I find this really cool bit where I'm kind of shooting into the sun. There's this lovely little bit of rock here. And if you go right out, there's an island away over there. So I'm going to try and get all this into a photo, see what it looks like. Just now I'm also trying to do uh, an interesting shot where I'm using flash for nature, landscape photography. Um, I, and I've also got, so I've got my filters on my camera, so these are my neutral density graduated filters. And I've got a flash to the side which I've got at full power. And just now I'm going to try and take a picture of these interesting rocks with their funny shell things on them. And yet still be able to expose for getting all the way, a bit of the sky in and all that. The only thing is, they're supposed to have, there'll be people in all the images. But that's cool, that doesn't matter. Here's what the image looks like. Now, here's an image which I'm really liking the look of. Again, with graduated filters, simple rock in the foreground, a little bit of a puddle behind it, and flash on full power pointing towards the rock. There's bits of glass inside which can scratch the. Let's get a little lens. video of that. Oh, slightly yeah, humiliation on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's like somebody <laughs> dropped their camera. Yeah. And totally. Thank you very much. Busted his lens and he can't get the polarizer filter off now. Well. Oh dear. Insurance claim. Insurance <laughs> claim. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope the insurance is going to cover that one. Do you think it will? Ah! <laughs> like, Fuck! You got well, another camera. You got another lens to. I've got another lens, but... That's... Okay. Is that going to stick on? That's the second time I've dropped a lens, but... The other one was only 150 quid, not... Uh. Over a grand. a very cold white man. I mean... 2,800... And this is important in relation to... <coughs> When you need to light, for example, to, to lead. So take a longer exposure shot. This is a 22 minute uh, exposure, uh, exposure picture. But uh, right. 
this is a shorter exposure so, because I like to get the moon in the frame. frame and this is yeah, after <laughs> sunset with very, very, very low light. Sunset. Those colors because they're very, colors, colors are very strong. This is because uh, for this you have to use a very cold wet balance and uh, the light, the torch must be warm. So you use a torch. This uh, old uh, iron is oxidado. Rust. Is this a small torch or one is no, no, no. one million? <laughs> uh, okay. Not, not too big, but okay. I'm in the middle of that bowl. I'm use a frontal torch LED light. Okay. That's crazy. A plus to balance this. Okay? So you don't have a big shadow, this part. You can have a very light and detail in this part. This way. You, can, you can have fun. <laughs> very fun <laughs> with this kind of people too. <laughs> this, 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 the sun is here, you can see by the shadow. Okay? And I use one light here. Mm -hmm. And another one again from back to result this and this. Okay, this is we can do with natural light. See, this is this is the sunlight. The sunlight from come from, and you need another one here and another one for the <laughs> crazy. <laughs> 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 the crazy. Perhaps <laughs> <laughs> my reflection. Natural light come from here. Okay? If you have. We use a, a smoke machine too, and backlighting, just one flash, and another from here. It's no more lighting. Looks like it's turned out to be a really great end to the day. Just now we're down at the uh, harbour of um, somewhere and uh, we, we've got this great sunset you can see behind me just now. So we're all doing these long exposures trying to get a nice soft water, silky water. And as you can see everyone down at the beach just now. Not the beach, down at the pier. There's Edinburgh Road Bridge, that's Edinburgh Rail Bridge over there. And we've been fortunate enough to get a really nice ground. And then that's the image that's coming out of my camera straight away. So there you go. And to finish off the day, uh, we've actually been down at the Parliament and uh, the Forest Society have organised for some flame throwers, flame people, to for us to come along and take photos of them. Uh, and so what we've got here, we've got Meg and Keith, uh, Edinburgh's resident flame people, trying to get some cool images with flames cool stuff flying like around. We're also down at the Parliament, so amazingly we haven't had the police down at us. And down here there's also a cool bit of a, a little puddle. down here as well, a little pond which gets some really cool reflections. Did you, uh, do you like Scotland? Yes, sure. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I guess so. Have, have you been here before? No. Uh, would you come back to Scotland for a holiday? Yeah, sure. Uh, would you go, have you only come to Edinburgh or are you seeing anybody? I would like to know Highlands too. Oh, right, yeah. For a week it's better, for better than two days only. I think uh -huh. it's a week to, to catch. Yeah, to do, and maybe at one point get good weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what about I take? I, I make the question. Okay. 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 Uh, why are you doing that? Because uh, <laughs> because you'll see you in Scotland. I think it's really quite interesting. <laughs> I feel so honoured, but I don't agree with that video. No worries. But no more, please. In the face. In the face. I can't. <laughs> Uh, cool, cool.